does the schedule uh, encourage that? Uh, I, I mean, the, the, the old days of members socializing after uh, the session, and now you're in session until midnight or, or later. Uh, your weekends or mem many members' weekends are back home in their district. They're not, uh, they don't have a chance to uh, uh, socialize with other members on a weekend and their families. Uh, is, is there any way to improve that, to, to get people to get to know each other a little bit? Uh, yeah, I, I think uh, the last session uh, where we were here, probably uh, two and a half days, um, and then people went back to the districts, and people were not encouraged to engage each other. Um, it was, it was um, rather sterile. Um, Today, right now, we're working four to five days a week, but it's a schedule that re that's required in order for us to catch up with the oversights that haven't been taking place lately uh, over the past few years. So that is driving our schedule right now. And I think that uh, in a few months when we've gone through one cycle that we're able to um, perhaps create a schedule that's more family friendly too. Because uh, I really feel for families that have young children where the parents, either the mom or the dad, are moving back and forth all the time. And, and, and we, we need to figure out a schedule that's going to be uh, amenable for us to work and be productive here, but at the same time provide them an opportunity to be with their children and in their, in, in their districts. So it's, it's, a, it's a balancing act. And I, and I don't think that people in this country really appreciate the, the difficulties that um, members of Congress uh, have here, especially the ones that have to travel long distances uh, or those who have to be away from their uh, children. Mm -hmm. um, it's, a, it's a sacrifice, I think. I'm at a point in my life, now I'm in the second half or the third, the last third, <laughs> <laughs> when my children are grown. But I see a good majority of the folks who have young children, and uh, it's got to be tough. 